we've narrowed our topic down. We're going to look for a genetic disorder or genetic mutation and do some research about it. So now we got to do the actual search. So I'm just going to open up a tab here. Here's my Google bar. Up here I'm going to type in um, genetic mutations. Alright, let's see what comes up. Oh, only 35.8 million results. Okay, what is genetic mutations? There's, I mean, there's a ton of stuff in here, right? So I want to give you some advice about the Google Advanced Search. So over here you have this kind of wheel on the right side of your screen. I want you to click on that and I want you to click on Advanced Search. This is a really useful tool to help kind of narrow down uh, if we're looking for specific things. So it says find pages with all these words, genetic mutations, um, this exact word or phrase so I can put something in quotation marks and it will look for that specifically in all chunks or any of these words. Um, I'm also going to type in disorder. I think that's a word that's kind of similar to mutation but might give me a little bit of a different thing. And then the most important piece here that I want to talk about is the site or domain. I want to narrow my research to credible source information. So to me that credible source information is a .edu or a .gov. So .edu means that it's from an educational site like a college. Not everyone can just order a .edu website. And then .gov means it's from the government. So they've probably done some extensive research dealing with those particular areas. .com means it's commercial and .org means it's an organization. That doesn't mean you can't find credible information on any of those sites. It doesn't mean that all .gov sites are credible, but it seems there's going to be a better option for me to find relevant and credible information using a .gov or a .edu. So I'm going to click on advanced search and let's see what pops up. Alright, so this narrows me down to 447,000. Still a lot, but notice this little pop-up menu here on the right. It says uh, inherited medical condition caused by a DNA abnormality. That's really along the lines of where we're going, right? We want to figure out what's happening with our DNA that chromosome, the gene, something happened to lead to a disorder. And it's given me kind of a list here, Down syndrome, cystic fibrosis, I, we, you know, we've heard about some of these. So that's a cool piece of information on this right. I also want to look at this first choice here. This is the National Human Genome Research Institute. That's pretty doggone credible. It's also a .gov site. So I'm going to click on that and see where that takes me. Okay, so now that I have um, sort of some information, I don't want to read all of this. I want to kind of skim through and look for important stuff. So what's going to help me fill out this wanted poster? Ooh, look at this list of genetic disorders. Okay, now we're talking. Now I can find something that really interests me because now my topic said I just have to give some research on a genetic disorder or genetic mutation, but I can choose which mutation I want to do. Some of these I've never heard of, like Marfan syndrome. Let's click on that and see where it takes us. Marfan syndrome. It's one of the most common inherited disorders of connective tissue. Autosomal, okay, dominant condition, once in every 10,000 to 20,000 individuals. Interesting. Okay, so I've narrowed down my topic. I hope you can figure out what one you want to do too.